that next week we are likely to see fuel prices fall again as a result of this policy. Next week, uh, it's not actually, Provincial has just said, it's not that far, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow we will see the decline in prices that, that we are expecting. I mean, you, this is remarkable. It, two and a half months ago, you are at 23 cities per liter. Today, you are at uh, 12 cities and falling. That is a good point. But let me note that, let me point out that the most important aspect of the gold for oil policy is not just the reduction in fuel price, but the most important aspect is the savings in foreign exchange that the Bank of Ghana will make as a result of the lower demand for Forex to import oil. That saving is huge. We are currently importing about 50 to 60% of our oil imports under this policy. The goal is to move to 100%, and that will be done this year. Uh, we, will, we will see this done, with, and we'll work with the BDCs uh, to, to make this happen. But the savings in foreign exchange, when we do this, will be an annual saving of around 4.8 billion dollars, US dollars, every year when we get this done. And so guys, here, as I said, the, the vice president just said, but before we get into that, let's get into this. In January, I did a video on the gold for oil policy when it was introduced, and, and the, the, the Ghanaian news stations, the opposition leader was kicking our kind of hell. So this is, this is where they're they going to get the gold from. They don't have gold. This is, not, this is a stupid idea and blah, blah, blah. And they see a few economists also goes against the government and saying this is not going to work. Whole and be, lo and behold, two and a half months down the line, when they actually leave the, leave the, the policy, trickles down through the economy, down to the normal people, from 23 city to 12 city, that's almost half, directly cut into half for the citizens. And what happens when that happens? Companies pay less of fuel, they charge less for their goods, so it, again, the economy do, does better, Citizens pay less, inflation stop, inflation starts to decline. The city gain against the US dollar, so they don't need to spend as much to get the same goods they normally get a week ago. So, for all those who was against the gold for oil, now they see if when they when you relax and leave the policy work itself out over time, it needs at least three to six months for a policy to actually take root. This is done in a, actually a, um, a quicker time to me. One and a half months and that's not the best part the best part is for this year they're going to save almost 4.5 billion us dollars why let's explain they are at 60 percent currently at trading trading gold for oil they are trading gold for oil with Saudi arabia those are that's the country that accepting the gold from for the oil policy right now currently and so they do the um the government don't need to use the city to change it to change it over into US dollars and then purchase the oil. That's why that's what was causing the, in, the high inflation and the city to fall against the US dollars because the demand for the US dollars was so high and they don't have it it makes their money get less. So because Ghana is rich in gold, because they have mines that worth trillion, I think they have like a ten trillion dollar um gold um gold mining process going on right now and they had banned the raw material of the gold to leave the country and get processed they wanted to process in ghana so the imf had sent out a, um a, a, a memorandum stating that they don't want ghana to go through with this because in hindsight this is gonna affect the imf way more than to affect ghana because then now they would need to get that much I think 4.5 billion US dollars is a lot of money, you know. So you can imagine they have to spend billions of dollars in CD to get that 4.5 bil um, billion dollars in the US. But the gold now has its own value. Gold is more valuable than the US dollar. So the vice president said they want to move to 100%. So when that happens, so if they want to purchase 
4.5 million dollars worth of oil from Saudi Arabia they don't need to get, they don't need to use the US dollar all they have to do is get that gold in that in the value of when, when they evaluate the, the value of the gold and see how much they would need to trade for that specific amount then they get the oil so the government don't send no don't need to buy US from the IMF or from the World Bank or whichever way they get it from or, or, and then the city stabilize and also fall again so if it's if it's let's say for example i don't know what's the exchange rate currently but let's say it's it's 10 cd to 1 us now it's less so maybe like 8 7 to 1 so it is the inflation rate it made the citizens get more bang for the buck so it's all around win and businesses who shipping becomes cheaper because if the fuel is cheaper the companies charge less for shipping um electric electricity because they use the, the, the fuel to run the, the turbines to create the electricity to do the for the water same thing to to, to run those machines you need fuel so water like water bill gonna drop light bill gonna drop grocery is gonna be lessened as well so the normal everyday gun gonna feel a, a, a relief like a a woosa moment people who own cars gonna pay less than half of the net worth they, they was paying two days ago because they say he's saying this video it's the next day the price is gonna happen and they're gonna continue to happen so from 23 cd to 12 cd that's almost half 11.5 is half but let's call it half and as he said gradually gonna go lower so you can imagine you're gonna pay almost one third of what he was paying for fuel two months ago so it was a great initiative it was a great idea by the via the by vice president also the president and for the economist who was hell-bent against this and the opposition leader who was on the national news station in ghana wreaking all kind of havoc questioning the government where they're going to get the gold from and blah blah even though he knows but he was he was trying to paint a, a grim a grim picture because of again he's a politician that's what they do and he was taking the IMF side, which I didn't like because he's going against his own country for the IMF to, to paint the current government as a big spender or they spend the money like corrupt because they was accusing the, the government of being corrupt, which is untrue. From what I can see from the outside, it don't look that way to me. It's just that inflation and hit them so high and the COVID cause, the COVID and, the, the, and all of that stuff. Everything bundled up into one. But now, the city, I read, but just before I started the video, I saw, I get an alert that the city fall against the, um, not fall, my bad, gain against the, the, um, UA. So it's a good thing. So it seems like the Ghana economy is stabilizing and starting to go, so they're gonna start to grow because they recently get an IMF bailout of $3 billion as well. God, they restructure the, 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 the loan so that's another plus so I think it's gonna start bloom again the Ghanaian economy and then the citizens are gonna feel a big big relief and the government gonna get to get to do more projects and get back on the track to put Ghana on the map economically wise so you don't know thanks for watching you don't know it's the Washington SXL podcast that's what I always, I always say I have a hiccup in the water tell a friend to tell a friend like share comment and subscribe i will hit you back up depending on what to say and for those who say that they um they don't understand the way i um speak i'm trying my best to slow my speech pattern it's they're gonna take some practice and i'll get there so bear with me if you don't understand me you, just, you can try to use a subtitle until you can get to familiar familiarize yourself with me and my channel and my the way i speak i can understand better so thanks for watching you don't know peace one love. Boom.